Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit the costumes and backdrops in Scratch 3.0. So in the older version of Scratch, you could go into your costumes or even to your backdrops tab, and you had these different options over here. Um, you could zoom in, you could change the color, and you can convert to bitmap, which would give you some different tools like the tools that are over here. Now in Scratch 3.0, you still have the costumes tab and you still have the ability to change the images. But now um, there are some new tools that are up here and over here. So some of the stuff has stayed the same, some of it has changed. So let me show you some of the tools that you can use. So um, for instance, we could click on different parts and we can actually move this because this is in vector. And we can be like, okay, our scratch cat looks a little goofy right now. So I'm gonna say, go back, go back. Instead of moving different parts of the face, you could actually group it together and say, I want this whole thing to be one object and move that around. And then you can make it so he has a very short body or make it so that he's got a very long neck by using this tool, which allows you to whoop, stretch some things around. Yep, our scratch cat's got a very big neck. And now he looks pretty goofy. Um, you can erase some stuff so you can get rid of some things that you don't like. So like, let's say you don't like the tail, you can get rid of that part of it. You can add some more by drawing. So we can say, I want a really long curly tail. I don't know, something like that. You can actually change the colors. Um, up here, so we have this um, new feature where you can change the color here. You can change the saturation, which like makes it more invisible, or you can change the brightness of it. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can make it dark, you can make it bright. You could also use this eyedropper, and so that way you can select the color. So what's neat about this is when you click on it, it brings up this thing that zooms in. So like, let's say you want that color black right there, which would be hard without the zoom in. So you can just move and go, okay, I want this. And then when you click, it saves that color for you. You can also add in some text and you can add in, add in some specific shapes. Like if you wanna make sure that at the end of the tail, there's a poofy ball, I don't know, you could do that. Now in the bitmap mode, when you click on this, it gives you some different tools. So this one doesn't allow you to move the shapes around like the vector mode that we just looked at, but it does allow you to still draw and do other things like that. So one of the cool things about um, this is you can actually go and be like, okay, I want my um, paint brush to be really small. So I wanna make it one. So it's a very tiny line. Or we could say, I want it to be very big, make it 75. And now when I draw, I have really big stuff. So. Lots of really cool features in here. Some of the same stuff that you could do in um, Scratch 2, but in 3.0, it's just kind of changed the way that things look. Um, one thing that I will say, let me go back into vector. When you're in um, this mode, this red line right here means to delete. So if you wanted to make something invisible, you could do that by using this. So you could say, I want um, Scratch Cat to be invisible. So let me show you what that looks like. So instead of making it so that he's that color, we can say, I want him to um, be invisible. And so when I click, whoops, right here, now Scratch Cat has invisible color rather than the color orange. So you can see over here, now he just looks like um, he is a drawing rather than uh, a colored in drawing. So those are some really cool features. I uh, hope you enjoy working with the image editors and just know that it's the same features that you've got in the backdrop when you actually click one of these. It's got all the same tools and whatnot to um, change some things around. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.